How does uh, Nate's return impact Colin? Uh, it's going to help him a lot. Uh, in, you know, anytime you're a, a young special teams player trying to find your way uh, in the league, and then you get a chance to learn from a veteran special teams player, that's a you know that's a big advantage you know for him. So, um, getting Nate back in here and being in the meetings with him and and really just kind of being you know his, his protege, you know, just learning from a guy who's done it at a high level for 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 a long time. Uh, that's a, it's advantageous to him. Okay, ready to go? Yeah, yeah. He practiced yesterday. He's ready to go. Is it? Is it seem? I mean, usually things aren't seamless. Mm -hmm. Is it seamless, or they're still? Uh, you know, he's, it's like anything else. He's got to get, you know, get in football shape and and get used to the, the volume. Uh, but you know, as far as the scheme and everything else, he's good. Has uh, Kadarius earned your trust? Kadarius is earning everyone's trust. You know, he's getting out here and he's he's working. You know, he's a rookie. He's trying to find his way in the league. He's going to try and uh, find his niche, and he's doing a good job. He is. Uh, he's, he's, he's different. You know, he's different. He's a special athlete. Would you be comfortable having him out there to be possibly the first Giant to touch the ball in 2021? You know, who knows? You know, it's, it's, a, it's one of those deals where whatever situation comes up, we'll deal with it. Uh, we got a bunch of options that spot which is which is good um, and we'll just keep working those guys we'll keep rolling them and see who ends up back there in game you still up in the air about how that's going to shake out or you we'll you kind of set on somebody at this point we'll see I mean it's again we got a bunch of options so we got three or four guys that can do it and we'll find out when you um, weigh that you know obviously with punt returners sometimes if you need a big play you put someone back there if you don't you know or you, you, you ball security is always the most important thing so how do you weigh that even with a guy like Kadarius who you say well if he gets the ball in his hands he can make something happen but we have to make sure whoever has that ball gets the ball in his hands first and, and doesn't lose the ball All right that's the most important thing we always tell our guys when it comes to punt return and you know especially punt return the most important thing is so we're getting the ball back so the ball is the most important thing and uh, you know, obviously, ball security is, is is the number one issue. So once we, uh, you know, we get that secured, everything else take care of itself. All those guys back there are capable of making plays. Is Kadarius good in that? Would you say as yeah. a ball security guy? Yeah, he's he's a uh, he does a good job. You know, he's uh, he's a wiry, strong guy, uh, and uh, no, he he does a good job of fielding the ball. What is Jabril's defining trait or strength as a returner? We've, we've all seen him be dangerous throughout his career, but what makes him dangerous as a returner? You know, he has he has great vision. You know, he's powerful. He has excellent uh, change of direction. Uh, he can make all of his cuts at full speed, uh, and he's and he's just competitive, uh, and he wants to, you know he wants to do it. And that's a lot of times you get guys that you know they start to climb the ladder on offense and defense and that return part of, of the game kind of fades if they have that ability and he just wants to compete it doesn't matter if it's you know if it's nickel if it's dime if you put him back there at running back I bet you know it wouldn't you wouldn't notice the difference between him playing offense or defense he's just a football player you know so that that's what makes him special with Jabril I know it, I forget even who said it but it seemed appropriate that you hear him before you see him. I think it was Joe last year. Um, how do you, I mean, do you hear him oh, more than what Pat Graham would hear him? I mean, is he always in your ear wanting opportunities? He's, he's always wanting opportunities. You know, Pep is, is never wanting to shy away from anything competitive. And, uh, you know, that's what makes him special, you know, because he loves to compete and he competes at a high level, you know, and, you know, him getting out here and being able to do all of the different things he can do, you know, providing that value and adding value to your football team, you know, that's, it's, it goes without saying. I mean, he's just, he's invaluable to you. I mean, it's just, he, he does so much. What catches your attention when you look at the Broncos this week? Oh, man. Uh, Tom McMahon, his group is always really, really good. They're always super aggressive. Um, you know, they, they give you a lot of gimmicks. You know, you get fakes, you get surprise on sides, you get, you know, 
their punt is different than any other team in the league. How they punt the ball with direction and limited hang the distance to try and get your returner running sideways, and it's 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 challenging, you know. And and you always gotta, you know, stay on your toes. You know, they can give you a swinging gate on on the punt team. They can give you one on field. I mean, they give you all kind of stuff. So they make you prepare for everything, and uh, you just gotta stay on top of it and just be ready for all the situations that might come up. We'll take three more. You said you have you know three or four options for say kick returner. Do you prefer to just land on one guy though? You know, anytime you can get continuity is always good. It's just like you know playing the same quarterbacks, just like having the same running back. Just you know, anytime you can get consistency and continuity at a spot, that's what you want. So guys can build chemistry. So you know, but that's my job. You know, I might have as a special teams coordinator, we might have four or five guys return kicks in one year. You know. Shoot, I've had it when you had two or three doing one game. So that's that's just the reality of, of the business. Is there punting one of those Australian guys who kind of He's that's it's just their 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 philosophy when it comes to punt. He he used the Australian style of kick. Uh, he will use the Aussie kick to offset he'll offset pull the ball back to his left, and he'll kick it out to the right, and again, get you moving, and then hit you hit a regular punt. So that's kind of their deal when it comes to the punt. They want to get you moving. But he does have the Australian style of kicks, definitely. Not that, not that other guys can't do it, but against a team that's that tricky, is Ebner being back especially important because of his recognition of maybe like what's coming? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Anytime you get a veteran guy that, that's been around, it's played against other people, you know, it's uh, it's always good to have, you know. I mean, I, I think this might be the noisiest press conference we've ever had. Yeah, well, we're, you, we're used to it. Good yeah, gracious. Well, there's no one question you don't want to answer, and it's in the helicopter. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> no, it's, it's always good to have Nate, Nate out there. And, uh, his experience is, is awesome.